Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news are read by Jonas Siantan. Union Minister for Development of North Eastern Region, Donna Jidendra Singh, said the North East is crucial for India's post-COVID economy and the agro products of the region will play an important role in the economic resurgence of the entire country. Singh said the post-COVID era has offered a unique opportunity for the North East because most of the stakeholders and industry houses are looking at the region to explore new potential. The minister was addressing an online meeting of the officials of the North Eastern Regional Agricultural Marketing Corporation Limited, groups of farmers and representatives of the agriculture sector. Singh said that with emphasis being on the agriculture sector and with the resources of the Northeast not having been fully utilized in the past, there is going to be special preference for new investments and new ventures in the Northeastern states. The Working Committee of the Naga People's Fund, NPF, has endorsed the decision of its legislature wing to withdraw from the Joint Legislature Forum of Nagaland Assembly on Naga political issue and also the Poi Code of One Day Assembly Session by the party MLS. The Working Committee of NPF, which is the highest decision-making body of the party, took the decision during its meeting held yesterday at the NPF Central Office in Kohima. NPF Working Committee further reiterated the party's stand on an honourable, acceptable and inclusive solution of the Naga political issue. COVID-19 recovery rate in the country continues its upward trend and reached 76.30%, with sustained preemptive and timely interventions over 24 like 67,000 people in the country have been successfully cured of coronavirus so far along with the recovery of over 63,000 patients in the last 24 hours. The total number of people who recovered from COVID-19 in the country has also reached almost three and a half times the number of active cases. India has registered over a 100% hike in recoveries in the last 25 days. India is continuously stepping up its COVID testing capacity. More than 8 lakh 20,000 samples were tested yesterday, taking the cumulative testing numbers till date to over 3 crore 76 lakh 51,000. The COVID positivity rate continues to record decline despite increased testing and stands at a weekly average of around 8% of the total samples tested. Tests done per million of the population in the country have also scaled a new peak of being over 27,000. The Union Health Ministry informed that a remarkable feat has been achieved by rigorously following the test, track and treat strategy. ICMR said that the indigenous production of testing kits in the country has brought down the cost incurred on single RT-PCR tests from around 2,000 rupees to nearly 300 rupees. The week-wise average daily test conducted has also witnessed a sharp increase from around 2.3 lakh in the first week of July 2020 to over 8 lakh in the current week. The Ministry of Women and Child Development has invited nominations for the Pratan Mandri Rashtriya Pal Buraskar 2021 from children, individuals and institutions. The Pratan Mandri Rashtriya Bal Buraskar was instituted to facilitate meritorious children, individuals and institutions of the country. These awards are given under two categories, Bal Shakti Buraskar and Bal Kalyan Buraskar. The awards are given by the President at Rastra Padipawan in the week preceding Republic Day every year. The Department of Pension and Pensioners Welfare, DOPPW, has decided to integrate the Electronic Pension Payment Order, EPPO, generated through PFMS application of Controller General of Accounts with DigiLocker to enhance ease of living of central government civil pensioners. This system will enable any pensioner to obtain an instant printout of the latest copy of their PPO from their DigiLocker account. This initiative will create a permanent record of their PPO in their DG locker and at the same time eliminate delays in reaching the PPO to new pensioners as well as the necessity of handing over a physical copy. This was a target set to be accomplished for civil ministries by 2021-22 
which the department had completed ahead of time in view of COVID-19 pandemic. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day.